Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In world history, let us discuss about Mesopotamian empires. There were four empires. The Akkadian Empire, the Babylonian Empire, the Assyrian Empire, the New Babylonian Empire. The four main empires of Mesopotamia were the Akkadians, Babylonians, Assyrians and Neo-Babylonians. First, shortly you can see. Akkadian Empire, the first empire in Mesopotamia founded by Sargon of Akkad in the 23rd century BC. The empire united the Sumerian and Akkadian speaking Semites under one roof. Next one, Babylonian Empire founded by Hammurabi who conquered the Akkadian and Sumerian city-states with his well-disciplined foot soldiers. The empire's capital was Babylon, one of the oldest and largest settlement in Mesopotamia. Hammurabi is uh, famous for establishing the Code of Hammurabi, the legal code that was widely adopted throughout Babylonia. Assyrian Empire, named after its original capital, the ancient city of Assur, which was located in northern Mesopotamia in the first millennium BCE, Assyria built an empire that briefly included the entire ancient Middle East, Neo-Babylonian Empire. The Neo-Babylonian Empire or Second Babylonian Empire, historically known as the Chaldean Empire, was the last polity ruled by monarchs native to Mesopotamia until Faisal II in the 20th century. Beginning with the coronation of Neb Nebo Polsar and King Babylon. Now we will discuss further about these things in detail. First, Mesopotamian empires. In the second half of the third millennium BCE, Sumerian city states fought each other and dynasties rose and fell. Kings consolidated consolidated power over multiple city-states in the region. Then King Sargon of Akkad enlarged their scale by conquering the Sumerian city-states and parts of Syria, Anatolia and Elam. In doing so, he created one of the world's first empire in approximately 2334 BCE. For generation, Mesopotamian literature celebrated the Akkadian Empire that King Sargon founded. Like the Akkadian Empire, three subsequent empires, that is Babylonian Empire, the Assyrian Empire and the Neo-Babylonian Empire and are ruled large part of the Mesopotamia and the Fatal Crescent. First we will discuss about detail with Akkadian Empire. The Sargon of Akkad founded the first empire in Mesopotamia began about Sargon of Akkad stressed that he rose from obscurity to become a famous powerful king. While the legend, legend tell, legend all tend to describe him as coming from humble origins and rising to the top using his own wits. There are many variations. One much later Babylonian tablets from the 17th century BCE describes his background as descendant as a high priestess and an anonymous father. His mother hid her pregnancy and the birth of Sargon, secreting him away in a wicker basket on a river where he was rescued and then raised by Aki, a water dryer. This version of the legal links Sargon with a more elite family through his birth mother, a high priestess, but also shows how he had a, to advance himself up to a king after being adopted by the rather more humble figures of water dryer. From his allegedly humble origin, Sargon of Akkad conquered Sumerian city-states one by one, creating a, an empire or a large territory, 
encompassing numerous states ruled by a single authority. It's quite possible that Sarkon of Akkad predecessors who claimed the rule over large regions stretching from the Mediterranean Sea to the Persian Gulf began the process of building the empire. But Sargon is remembered by accomplishing the task. One of the reasons was attributed to the empire to him is his use of public mon monuments. According to documentary sources, the city splendor stood as another symbol of Sargon's greatness. The city grew into a cosmopolitan center, especially because of its role in trade. Akkadian rulers seized and taxed trade goods with trade routes extending as far as India. Sargon ruled the empire for over 50 years. His sons, grandson and great-grandson attempted to hold the empire together. After about 20 years, 200 years, attacks from neighboring people caused the empire to fall. After the fall of Akkadian empire, Hammurabi founded the next empire in the region in 1792 BC. Now we'll talk about next the Babylonian Empire from 1792 from 1595 BC. Hammurabi who aspired to follow Sargon's example, created the next empire in the region, the Babylonian Empire, with well-disciplined foot soldiers armed with copper and bronze weapons. He conquered the Mesopotamian city-states, including Akkad and Sumer. He created an empire with its capital at Babylon. Although he had another achievements, Hammurabi is most famous for the law of code etched into a steel that bears his name, the steel, steel of Hammurabi. The steel of Hammurabi records a comprehensive set of laws. Of course, the law existed prior to Hammurabi's famous steel, but Hammurabi's court gets a lot of attention because it is still intact and has proven very influential. The Hammurabi course appears below. If anyone steals the property of temple or of the court, he shall be put to death. Also, and also the one who receives the stolen things from his shawl be put to death. If anyone steals cattle or sheep or an ass or a pig or a goat, if it belongs to a god or to the court, the thief shall pay thirtyfold, thirtyfold therefore. If they belong to a freedman of the king, he shall pay tenfold. If the thief has nothing with which to pay, he shall put to death. If anyone receives into his house a runaway male or female slave of the court or of a freedman, and does not bring it to, out to the public proclamation of the major domus, the master of the house shall be put to death. If anyone too lazy to keep his dam in proper conditions and does not to keep it, if, if then the dam break and all of the fields be flooded, then shall be in the in shell he in whose dam the break occurred be sold for money and the money shall replace the corn which has caused to be ruined. Like the rules goes continuous. If a son strike his father, his hand shall be held off. If a man put out the eye of another man, his eye shall be put out. If he break another man's bone, his bone shall be broken. If he put out the eye of freed man, the, or break the bone of the freed man, he shall pay one gold mina. 
if you put out the eyes of a man's slave, you break or break the bone of bone of a man's slave, he shall pay one half of its value. Last one, if the slave of freedman strikes the body of freedman, his ears shall be cut off. Like his courts and rules are very tight and as well as the people feared about. Hammurabi also improved infrastructure, promoted trade, employed effectiveness, effective administrative practice and supported productive agriculture. For example, he sponsored the building of roads and the creation of postal service. He also maintained irrigation canals and facilitated trade all along the Persian Gulf. After Hammurabi's death, his successors lost territory. The empire declined, shrinking in size, and the Hittites from Anatolia eventually sacked the city of Babylon in 1595 BC, bringing about the official end of the Babylonian Empire. Next one, the Assyrian Empire. The Assyrian Empire, which saw its height of power at the end of the first millennium to the seventh century BC, was larger than any empire that preceded it. Dominating the region, it will Equip soldiers used their stronger iron weapons to extend the empire control throughout the Mono Mesopotamia, Syria, parts of Anatolia, Palestine, and up the Nile into Egypt. They used siege warfare along with battering rams, tunnels, and movable towers to get past the defense of cities. The Assyrian had a large army with perhaps as many as 150,000 soldiers that utilized a corps of infantry, a cavalry, as well as chariots. As part of their military strategy, the Assyrians powerfully tried to inspire fear in their enemies. They decapitated conquered kings, burned, burned cities to the ground, destroyed crops, and dismembered defeated enemy soldiers. One Assyrian sword, soldier climbed life. In strife and conflict, I baked and conquered the city. I felled 3,000 of their fighting men with a sword. I captured many troops alive. I cut off some of their arms and hands. I cut off others their noses, ears, and extremities. The Assyrian expected these methods of deter potential rebellion and used their spoils of war, like precious metals and livestock, to finance further military campaigns. After conquering an area, they conscribed men into their army and employed resettlement and deportation as techniques to get laborers where they wanted them and deal with communities who opposed who opposed their regime. In addition to its military strength, the Assyrian Empire also stands out for the seize of its cities and its administrative developments. The Empire's biggest cities such as Nineveh and Assur. Each had several million people living within them. Administratively, kings and rule, kings ruled Assyria, appointing governors to oversee province and delegate to keep tapes on the leaders' allied states. Next, the new Neo Babylonian Empire. With the weakening of the Assyrian Empire, the new Babylonian, Neo Babylonian Empire began to dominate Mesopotamia, lasting for less than 100 years. The New Babylonian, Neo Babylonian Empire, Emperor 
empire is best known for the, its ruler, that is Nebuchadnezzar II, and its great architectural projects, as described in the Hebrew scriptures, also known as the Old Testament. Nebuchadnezzar II, who ruled from 605 to 562 BCE, was a ruthless leader. He gained notoriety for destroying the city of Jerusalem and deporting many of the city's Jews to Babylon. The captive Jews suffered in exile as they were not allowed to return to their homeland. Nebuchadnezzar II also rebuilt Babylon with fortresses, temples, and enormous palaces. He associated the new Babylonian empire with the glory of ancient Babylonian by reviving elements of Sumerian and Akkadian culture. After the death of Nebuchadnezzar II, outside military pressures as well as the internal conflict weakened the empire until the much larger Persian Empire conquered the new Babylon, Neo Babylonian Empire in 535 BCE. Now we summarize the significance of Me Mesopotamian for world history. The Mesopotamia is significant to world history for many reasons, including the cradle of civilization. That means Mesopotamia is often called the cradle of civilization because it was home to the development of the world's first cities, agriculture and writing. The Mesopotamia is the birthplace of many important inventions, including the wheel, sailing boards, maps, math and con concept of time. Origin of cuneiform. Mesopotamia is where the earliest known script, cuneiform, was created. Mesopotamia was crossroads of civilization, including the Egyptian and Indus Valley civilizations, which led to lasting impact on language, religion, trade, technology, and writing. The Code of Hammurabi. The Code of Hammurabi, which influenced modern legal system, originated in Mesopotamia. The ancient civilization of Sumer, Assyria, and Babylonia, the civilization are credited with influencing astronomy and mathematics. So far, we discussed shortly about Mesopotamian empires. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.